Hi everybody, happy Sunday. I um, was inspired by my cousin to make a video about my cases. I wanted to go into detail about the materials that I use. It occurred to me, um, not sure why it's just occurring to me, but the main purpose of a case is to protect your phone. Um, so I could certainly imagine, you know, you may have some concerns if you're thinking it's a handmade product, it has paint on the back, what if it chips off, uh, what if the case itself isn't very protective. So I wanted to just kind of take y'all through my process of how I make it um, and just kind of, you know, show you guys a little bit more about what I'm doing. I have a few different examples, um, obviously the two main types of cases being rubber or hard plastic. Uh, personally, I prefer the black rubber just because it's simple, it doesn't show stains, and the particular one that I buy has the anti-slip grip on the side, so it's kind of textured right here. Also, the buttons are really, really easy to find, which I like. Uh, this particular one, whoopsie, is for a iPhone 11, and uh, I do, I carry literally any kind of case you can possibly think of because Amazon sells these blank cases in almost every single model, um, unless you have something super, super old. Uh, for example, this one is for an iPhone 8 Plus. I've also done a 6S Plus, and Samsung and Google Pixel are options as well. So moving on to the plastic cases. So these, the main benefit, in my opinion, is that they're very snug. So once you snap this onto your phone, it's not going anywhere. Uh, you really have to kind of like pry that corner off if you're trying to take it off. Um, only downside being it doesn't fully cover the edges, so it leaves this top part of your phone exposed and then this bottom part where you would charge it. So if you do have a case, or I'm sorry, a phone that you kind of want to show off a little bit more, the clear plastic case would be a good option because you can see the actual material. Say you have one of those rose gold phones or just something that's like a really pretty color and you still want people to see it, the plastic one is a nice option. Um, so I'm gonna show you all a few that I've made already so you can kind of see the finished product. I've primarily been doing custom orders just because it makes the most sense. Um, you can pick out exactly what you want but I always make a few extra anytime I get a custom order in. This is for Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. I actually have quite a few of these in multiple colors. I have clear, black plastic, and white rubber. So a lot of different options there. So I wanna show you guys, I'm gonna do a drop test on this one, how sturdy these cases are. So this one, has the design on this side, dropping that face forward, literally nothing happens. Um, the reason being, this has a coat of what is called epoxy resin on it, which protects the artwork. It actually enhances the color of it. It's uh, waterproof and scratch resistant. If you are not familiar with epoxy resin, what I want you to picture is, say you're at a bar, I'm sure, None of us remember what it's like to be at a bar anymore. But when you see that countertop that has those pennies underneath and then they have that clear coat that kind of looks like glass that's laid over the top. So that is epoxy. It's extremely durable and hard. Um, it's actually, when you're working with it, when it's wet, it's fairly toxic. I have to wear a mask and then gloves. And then once it's dry, it's completely sealed, non-toxic. Um, and really just does an excellent job of protecting the artwork. So that's really the gist. Um, the only other thing I wanted to show y'all, so the way I'm able to make these look so clean and precise is the part that I paint is totally separate. So this is a metal plate which comes separate from the case itself. So you have an adhesive here and that plate just goes directly on the back once it's been customized. So that part makes my process a lot easier. Um, and also having that metal, you know, it's not super thick, but I mean, it's gonna reinforce the back of your phone if you do drop it. Uh, so this is the part I'm painting separately, 
pouring the epoxy on top, letting it cure fully, and then it just goes directly onto the back. Um, if you don't live in Dallas, if you don't live near me, I can do a custom order for you and mail it. So we get these nice little plastic things that it comes in whenever I buy them, just wrap it some bubble wrap, ship it to you. Um, so that is an option as well if you don't live in Dallas. Um, thank you all so much for watching and listening to my process a little bit more. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me directly. Um, don't forget to support local artisans right now if you can, especially because there aren't any craft fairs or street markets or anything going on because of COVID. We can't do anything like that. So it makes it a little bit more difficult to promote our products right now. Um, and then I am doing custom cases for 50 and then pre-made ones I'm selling for 35. Uh, I also have some of those listed on eBay at a discounted price. So I'll send you guys the link if you'd like that as well. Thank you guys so much. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.